Hey guys, like many of you, I'm sure you've heard about ChatGPT and you probably have a tab open in your Chrome browser, right? Now the problem with ChatGPT, as exciting as it all is, is that it's sandbox, right? You can only use this model that's up to date until like, I don't know, 2022, and it doesn't have access to the internet. So this project I would like to introduce you to solves these problems. It's called GPT script and it sort of like makes OpenAI scriptable. Let me just show you. I have a checkout a GPT script right here and in the examples you'll find things like time.gpt and this shows you how the scripting works, right? You make these sort of blocks uh, which are referred to as tools and here you can actually execute shell like here I'm just executing some uh, date so you can see that it asked OpenAI about some time zones and then it ran that time zone in the correct syntax with GNU date locally on my machine you might be thinking yeah it's a little bit dangerous to just avail things, and you're probably right. Um, though this is the power here of GPT script. You can marry OpenAI with your Arch Linux system, say, right? And here's a more compelling example. Here I'm referring to some inbuilt tools like sysdownload, exec, remove. It's downloading a, a zip file, it unzips it, then it inspects the, the schema, i.e., it does like some sort of like grab some metadata and ask OpenAI to formulate an SQL query to answer a certain question, like uh, find the artist with the most number of albums. Let me just run that. So you can see it's unzipping it into some sort of weird temp directory. You can see that it's getting the schema and now it's running the actual uh, SQL query that it, it sort of was able to come up with. And then here's the answer. The artist with the most number of albums in this test database is Iron Maiden. Pretty cool, right? I'm sure that get, got your imagination sort of going there. So you can see all the sort of like toolings, the inbuilt tools here. You know, you've got your HTTP gets, you've got execs, you've got your finds, you've got your pens and such and so forth. And um, to get started, well, you don't use the renew plus. You don't use like the plus version of ChatGPT. You use the uh, the API version. You create an API key. You set your environment variable, and you're away with GPT script. Have fun, guys! Please comment below and tell me how you're getting on. Bye, and give the video a like for the algorithm.